everyone, this is Marianne Simpson, director of Apex Media, and this week is, of course, Apex Expo 2019. Loads of cool news being announced on the show floor, and right now I'm standing at the Astronics stand with Mark Schwartz, who is the VP of Connect, VP of Astronics Connectivity Group. That's right, Marianne. Thank you so much for having us here, yeah, Mark. Sure, thanks for having us. Let's talk about the Edge distributed architecture. Sure, right okay. here. We're, uh, we're really excited about it. Um, we're announcing it. Uh, it's not quite ready. It's going to start shipping in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a launch customer. But let me tell you a little bit about what it is. A traditional architecture of an IFE system would require something like this, which is a, we call a head-end server. Mm -hmm. So this big, heavy, hot server would go in the eBay of an aircraft and require fans to cool it. Hot and heavy. Typically, yeah. it takes uh, a few days to install one of these. Okay. So we rethought the architecture. And we said, hey, what if you split up the CPU and the hard drive space and distributed it into the wireless access points, right. therefore turning those into smart WAFs? Right. So that's what we've done. Uh, what you're looking at here is our content loader, our AIO box, which is essentially just a connector box. Mm -hmm. And then the smart WAFs are mounted here. And what's cool about these is, again, they have the CPU and hard drive in them. And so it's a distributed system. So this plus this plus this equals that big heavy server, right. but by distributing it, it's smarter and it runs cooler. You don't have to run, uh, put a fan on it and you can also install it overnight. So the cost of ownership of this system is much lower than the head end server system. Mm -hmm. And what happens if one of them fails? This is the good cool question, part. this is really cool. So let's say you're on a flight. If you're on a flight and your head end server fails, no, nobody gets a movie and everybody's mad. You probably got to give them some credit for tickets or something. Mm -hmm. If one of the smart WAPs goes out, which I'll simulate here, so let's say that section goes out, it, these other WAPs quickly heal the system and you're back up and running and no one even notices. So mm -hmm. uh, the advantages of a distributed system are kind of like the internet. It's spreading out the intelligence amongst a, a bigger uh, amount of servers, not just one single server. So mm -hmm. it works really well. I think it's one of the coolest ideas we've come up with in quite some time. And how, um, what sort of aircraft have you designed this system for? This can go on any aircraft. In fact, uh, it's scalable, it's modular. You could put it on a, a small regional aircraft where you only need one WAP. Super light, right? You could put it on a, a single aisle, low density, single aisle, high density. You could put it on a wide body. All you do is add WAPs. Yeah. Each WAP can handle streaming about 70 to 100 clients at 720p. Mm -hmm. So the system's really designed for the guys that bring their uh, own device, a tablet or a smartphone, and are streaming at 720p. Okay, and uh, what's the install like for this? It's only a night, one night. Great. Remember, I said you don't have to crack into the eBay. Right. And also the cabling is simpler because the processing is done locally by the WAPs. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have as heavy duty speed cables in this system because the, again, the processing is done locally direct to the passenger. Okay, and you've got a launch customer ready to roll as well, don't you? We do. Right. Yeah, and so we're excited about that. Yep. Can you tell us who it is? No, we can't, unfortunately. Oh, man. I wish I could. Maybe next time. Maybe, Maybe next, next time. time. Okay, and then there's a, a few other cool announcements coming off the Astronic stand this week. Yeah. Would you like uh, to touch on them? Again, on our connectivity side, we're announcing and starting to sell our portable server called Sierra. Mm -hmm. So again, that's IFE in a box, mm -hmm. uh, carry on, runs on batteries. So that's like a, the lowest tier, uh, uh, entry level version of in-flight connectivity. Right. And then also our power group is uh, announcing a new really clever bolt-on aftermarket for adding USB-C and USB-A to a seat uh, retrofit. So pretty excited about that too. Super exciting. Well, I have to say thank you for uh, coming to Expo with loads of announcements. Yeah. As a journalist, we really appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.